This episode is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Hey, we need some competition. Go out and create your own video show, spirit review blog. Just get your domain at GoDaddy.com. Use code EDDR3 and your .com domains will be $7.49. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and today we're going to create the cocktail known as the Grasshopper Named Steve. This recipe was submitted by K.O., who was a natural resident of Hawaii, moved to Texas. Thanks for the backstory. That's the backstory. No, there is a backstory. There is a backstory. So, a grasshopper goes into a bar. Bartender says, hey, we have a drink named after you. And the grasshopper says, you have a drink named Steve? And then this drink was born. Boom, boom, So... Based on that, we have this cocktail, which was invented, I think, by Kale and friends. And this drink's going to have a half ounce of creme de menthe. I chose green because... Grasshoppers are green? Yep. Uh, good call. Uh, white absinthe. Out there. <laughs> uh, so we got white absinthe as opposed to green absinthe. Again, don't really know why, but maybe less herbal. Uh, vanilla vodka, and we're going with the absolute since people were complaining that I was only using... Three olives. Not really complaining. They were just noticing over and over. We don't uh, really have a lot of vanilla vodka. No. I didn't even know we had Absolute. Yes. How about that? I bought that specifically. Oh. We used it two weeks ago. Uh, I don't pay attention. <laughs> no, apparently not. And then an ounce and a half of creme de coco. So we're using this one, and it's spelled C-A-C-A-O. And the reason I heard was it's, an, it's a foreign language. I think it was either French or Spanish. I'm going to go French and... The English version is C-O-C-A-O or something like that. So the two spellings, same ingredient. And then hiding behind it, I have some simple syrup because this drink is going to be in a cocktail glass. It's going to be rimmed with cocoa powder, which is actually in here. And um, to do that, I thought the most appropriate way would be I need some, something to stick it on. Oh, I didn't fill it up enough. I thought I did. So what I did is I fill, I'm going to fill one of my OXO glasses here for those who go, where did you get those things? Uh, with Google OXO measuring cup. And this will help me stick it to the rim, I to hope. The man. Stick it to the man. That's what I'm doing. And then I'll just roll that in here, I think. I really have no idea what I'm doing. This is probably not that great for the cocoa itself. Get over there, cocoa. Yeah. It's not really rimming very good. Yeah, because you didn't bring up your rim bowl. You have I, a rim oh, bowl. I have a rim bowl. I don't think about these things. So there. There's a nice little brown rimming on there. I could have brought up my rim bowl. And now you have all this simple syrup. And the safest thing to do is to set that over here, and I'll put that away later. You guys don't need to see me pour it all back into the simple syrup container. Maybe they want to. I don't have time for that. All right. The, people are, you know, they have things to do today. They go drinking, right? So we'll get to the making of the actual drink. Half ounce absinthe. This absinthe is La Clandestine, 53% alcohol by volume. So it's going to hurt you. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Gummy bears. Gummy bears. You will see gummy bears if you drink too much La Clandestine. Or so says my father. He, no. Oh, yeah, yes. he was drinking. That's exactly he what like he was drinking. The green stuff. No, he didn't care for the green absinthe. This is, this is truth. Uh, we're going to do an ounce and a half. Oh, uh, that's a lot. Yeah, it is. Highly chocolatey. Chocolate, mint, hints of vanilla. I think, I don't really know what the absinthe is going to do, but I'm guessing you're going to get some of that uh, black licorice flavor. If that's a word. Licorice. It is now. Or you heard it anise. Here. You heard it here first. Do I need that? No. I 
I apologize this week for my clear ice, but I had a lot left over from New Year's Eve party. I need a lot of ice, so... You uh, should never use the word hmm? anise. Say black licorice. Black licorice? Because anise sounds like anus. Doesn't taste like anus. And how would you know? Don't know, but don't think people would be drinking it. Whoa. Pretty green. Yes, it is. So what I would do is garnish this with a frozen grasshopper. <laughs> or not. But the chocolate on the edges kind of gives it that a nice look to it like a little a little more like a garnish that is a weird color yeah it's very freaky smells like chocolate <laughs> you definitely get the the black licorice even before just as you're inhaling it and that the aromas are swishing around in your nostril pa passages your nasal cavity really? Yeah, you could. You're you're getting that black licorice before the mint, before the chocolate. This is good. I was a skeptic because I didn't know how the the absence was gonna play with the mint combined with an intense chocolate, a little bit of vanilla. But in this, the mint is really the kind of like the the background setting for the drink, and the the black licorice is almost or the Fennel, another word for you, um, is a little, almost like a sweet. The absinthe kind of sweetens it with that chocolate and is not over mintified. Wow, you're just making up all kinds of words. But that word needs to be made up. <clears throat> but <laughs> if you drink it too fast, definitely got a little mint burn there. This is cool. This is sexy. And I think it's a good worthwhile experience to get the flavor I'm almost getting almost like a Sambuca. You might even be able to substitute Sambuca in here. Probably less. Maybe it might be too sweet. Um, instead of the absinthe, if you don't have absinthe or don't want to use absinthe or are afraid of it. Um, there you go. Tasty. Grasshopper named Steve. An appropriately funny name. Reason I had to do this drink as soon as possible. EverydayDrinker.tv. Drinkers, plural. Another funny name. Good drink. Go try it. Grasshopper named Steve. We're teaching you how to drink. Why are you being a chicken? Did <laughs> <laughs> I get that Adam's apple thing? Like a chicken? Uh, rooster. Rooster? I will obviously be a rooster. Get all the hands. <laughs> Get that tail. 